Hello, beautiful people on the other side of the screen. You are now tuned in to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, August 17th, 2023, and I am your host, Psalm One. I want to bring your attention to this awesome limited edition shirt that I'm rocking, designed by Abby, a very passionate artist and kick-ass music merchant, and it's part of the Audio Tree Artist, artist Series. You love it, I love it, and you can get it now at audiotree.shop while supplies last. Also, if you're sitting out there and you're watching Audio Tree videos and you're not subscribed to the channel, please get your life right, honey buns, because you got to make this right with us. Subscribe now, and while you're at it, follow Audio Tree on Spotify, Bandcamp, or wherever you bang your music. Today, we have none other than Cathedral Bells in studio straight out of Orlando, Florida. This foursome is bringing some seriously commanding indie dream pop post-punk vibes to the studio that get me all warm and fuzzy inside. Ladies, ladies, and gentlemen, please welcome Cathedral Bells. Yeah. 
We're here with Jordan, Matt, Miguel, and Griffin, better known as Cathedral Bells. Thank you for coming in today, and welcome to Audio Tree. How y'all feeling today? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feeling good. Yeah, yeah. Couple Happy goods. To be here. Like a million bucks. Okay, great. great, wonderful. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard some talk earlier when we were sound checking about Audio Tree being like a goal checked off of your band's list, um, and we're stoked to have you all here today. What has this platform meant meant to you as a band or individually? I would just watch it a lot in high school. Put me onto a lot of new bands, bands I love just to see like live. Like if I miss them live, you know. But mainly just like discovering like new bands. Always looking for new music, you know. I would have like 10 tabs of band camp links to like different bands. Like, okay, I got to listen to this this week, you know. And gotcha. this was like one of those platforms that helped me like discover music, like hardcore, dream pop, you know, yeah. emo, etc. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say likewise on that. It's always nice to see like friends' bands perform and just being able to like capture an audio tree and hear in this session. Absolutely. Yeah, throughout college, I used to just have audio tree playing in my dorm. Like, I'm not kidding, like for hours at a time, just going through video after video. Are so. you subscribed to the channel? I am subscribed <laughs> to the channel. I've been subscribed for many years. So. Wonderful. Um, it is so dope to be able to um, discover new bands yeah. and sort of even like have a, a dream of being on a platform one day and then get to it. I'm sure that it feels amazing. So uh, we're glad you're here. And everybody out there, please keep discovering new bands on Audio Tree and then supporting them because that Bandcamp link is also very integral to being a supportive um, music fan. Uh, you were running down, Matt, you were running down all these cheesy Chicago references like Deep Dish Pizza, Frank Thomas, and the FX television series The Bear, which just finished its second season. What the hell do you like about that show? Um, I like the drama and the writing and acting. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just like the tense, the, the tense, uh, the tensity, you know. Yeah, the tension in the, tension, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, uh. I love. I've seen the first season. I haven't seen the second season. No spoilers. No spoilers. But um, I just love like yeah the intensity of it and like I love when movies can like, or like shows can make me feel like something, other than like like I was feeling so anxious like being in the kitchen with like all these characters and I'm like yeah. wow this dude sucks but like <laughs> I've heard that that's like, that's how it is like in the kitchen. Yeah. You know. It can kind of be like that in a band rehearsal space as yeah. well. That tension. We need to get a show to like capture that. Yeah, 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 right. You guys can all follow like us Beatles. back to our practice space. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Uh, speaking of that, who's the messiest band member here? Who's Definitely the... Miguel. A hundred percent. I have severe ADHD, but that's no excuse. I should be cleaner. <laughs> yeah, make a formal apology right now. A couple questions then. What four-piece rock band could y'all fight and win since we're being messy? The Beatles? I said the Beatles a second ago, so I'm going to say... Are, are there four members in the Black Keys? Yeah, I was going to say, we got to keep going. Yeah, the Black Keys, yeah. for sure. If the Black Keys see this, we're waiting. Black Keys, members. they want the know. smoke. Four Cathedral four Bell, say, say the name. They want the smoke. <laughs> also, one more question for you, Miguel. You are playing... I, the cameras may not get this, but you are playing drums barefoot. Oh, yeah. I Why? feel weird with shoes. Okay, it just you know? feels better that grip... Yeah, you want to feel, you know, connected to the drum kit in a way, you know? Oh. It's the same with driving. I hate driving with shoes. It makes me feel like I'm about to, like, crash or something. I was literally going to say, do you drive with barefo- with no shoes, barefoot as well? Oh, hell yeah. I've known Miguel for, like, a decade. I've seen them wear shoes, like, twice. <laughs> I used to have a pair of Docs. <laughs> I used to have a pair of Docs. And uh, they went missing at some point when I was moving. Yeah. So it's been sandals since that day. You were like, no more docks, no more shoes. Yeah, I mean, it's lighter. You don't want to lift that heavy 20-pound shoes. It makes you feel like, you know. That's true. And then there's no snow, really, in Orlando. Yeah, no snow Not in Florida. Florida. So no. you, can get, uh, you can get away with doing that. You're, you're, a, you're a very interesting person. I, I, <laughs> I really like the fact that you had an answer to that. Thank you. Um, first, I want to say, what's the best place you could take me to in Orlando that isn't Mickey related? That might be a fun find. Veggie Garden. Dude, I was going to say that. Veggie, veggie Garden, Garden. What's and, and Con Cleaver. What's Veggie Garden? Uh, they're both vegan restaurants. Okay. Or- Orlando's actually, like, a lot of people don't know this, one of the biggest cities for vegan food. So there's so many options. But Veggie Garden's a really good Vietnamese spot, and Con Cleaver nice. is a really good deli spot. I will keep yeah. that in mind next time I visit Orlando. Um, I'm a vegan with benefits, meaning oh, yeah. not always vegan. But <laughs> I do. Yeah. Uh, 
I do enjoy a good plant based meal. Are we? Are is everyone in here vegan or no? No, it's kind of. I'm the same way as you. Like I eat chicken and stuff, but uh, I definitely <laughs> just go on the vegan Jordan. route. Yeah, just me and Jordan. Yeah. Okay. How how yeah. how how difficult is like touring and staying on a plant based lifestyle? You're pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah. easy, yeah. you know, like when we're on tour. There's always Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah. there's always Taco yeah. Bell or chips from like a gas station. For uh, <laughs> We toured awesome. on Thanksgiving and uh, our Thanksgiving meal was like chips. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were like in the middle of like nowhere in Nevada. It was like a gas yeah. station. Like yeah. stale yeah. like uh, breadsticks and stuff. It's stale it's pretty sticks. it's pretty easy these days, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's yeah. get it's getting a lot easier. I mean, like maybe ten, fifteen years ago mm. it'd be like a nightmare for, for right. people trying to travel and yeah. stay nourished, like yeah. getting yeah. fruit and fries everywhere. But yeah. Taco Bell can keep you alive with that. Al fresco, yeah. the bean burrito. Yeah. We actually in, right. in Orlando they we just right. had the test location for the fake meat, fake cheese, fake sour cream. Oh. <laughs> and that... That was another, that was a game changer. Yeah, a vegan crunch wrap all the way. Yeah, all the way. It was so good. Okay. Yeah. Um, not to get too political now, but Florida is seriously bumming me out with all their antiquated policies and laws. And how do you think the music scene there kind of responds to the climate or even pushes back on, on those things? Uh, Miguel, you want I, to answer this? You're the political one. You're the political <laughs> man. <laughs> no shoes, political, <laughs> messy. I love it. No shoes, comedy. I, I help organize with, like, an immigration advocacy group because I'm from Venezuela. So, you know, trying to uh, watch out for uh, all the undocumented immigrants in Florida. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting so political, sorry. I, like, no, it's okay. It. But, um, yeah, for the music scene, I mean, I'm not sure. It, I know that Griffin is... Decently political, too. It's not just, like, me. Uh, but I don't know. Do you know any bands? Yeah, there's a ton of, like, queer and trans bands. Mm -hmm. And there's kind of been, like, a discourse lately where a lot of people are saying we should leave Florida because it's getting dangerous. And there's a lot of people who say we should stay in Florida because if we're not here... Where's you know, the representation? Yeah, where's the representation? So there's a lot of, like, really important people in the scene who are very visible and very loud and very uh, combative toward, you know, the policies. Cool. Um, yeah. It's a it's a scary place right now. Yeah, but I, I've always felt as though artists always kind of have that power to mm -hmm. to bring awareness and bring it back uh, to something that isn't so scary. So, yeah. Yeah, it, I, I think the big message from a lot of the um, like queer community that are in bands that are still in Florida is that policies don't represent the millions of people who live there. So there's still, like, Wilton Manors is in Florida, and that's one of the largest queer populations in the country. A lot of people don't know that. And, I de uh, fun fact. Thank yeah, exactly. Fun. Yeah, so. That's a um, place you got to go to, too, if you come to Florida. Yeah. What matters. Okay. Awesome. I, I'm absolutely going to go back to Orlando because my partner bothers me about Disney World all the time. <laughs> but I want to go to some other places other than seeing Mickey. Um, the last song you played is really, really awesome. And there's a lyric that you say that says, high in the afterglow. And you mentioned that throughout some of your, a lot of your music, what is this afterglow that you speak of? I have no idea about the <laughs> lyrics. It just kind of comes in the moment. Um, <laughs> just whatever really, like, works for uh, the way how it's sung, I guess. So, like, a lot sure. of, like, ahs and oohs usually. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have any um, background with the, the lyrics. It's more of just, like, what comes, like, in, in the moment. Um, I just like to write a lot about, like, euphoria, kind of feelings, um, nostalgic moments in my life um good and bad so yeah i don't know i guess afterglow or anything is just like i don't know <laughs> no that's a fair it's fair it's a fair it's a fair answer yeah. because sometimes the lyrics really just come out of you and then you can find a deeper meaning and leave it up to the yeah, the, it's the, up the, to the consumer the audience yeah after yeah that. to me the latest album makes me think a lot about parallel universes yeah. time traveling and for better or worse, revisiting the past. So I feel like I'm not so far off yeah, with no, that. Yeah, no, I definitely, like, touch up on that with, like, my way of formulate, formulas, that. <laughs> formula of writing. We yeah. can edit that part out, right? Like, cut that. No, we're keeping it in. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> uh, you're playing some of my jams today, but you're not playing my jam everything at once. Uh, why do fault. you hate me? And why do you hate playing this song? Um... We just started playing it live, um, so I felt like I wasn't prepared. So it's kind of my fault. I just wanted to. Um, <laughs> there was a lot of people that were asking to play the songs that we're playing. Um, but yeah, I know everything at once is definitely a song. We are we do play in our our set, 
Um, we're just not playing it today, unfortunately. I'm sorry. It's okay. It is a, I'll, we all I'll love accept. the song. Yeah, I'll accept the apology. We are performing it uh, in Chicago tonight. Tonight, even though uh, it's this is not a live show. Yeah, it's not, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you're playing Cobra Lounge tonight. Yeah. And yes, we're playing Cobra Lounge tonight. Yeah, and if um, well, this this will be out way after you yeah, play, after. so you missed it possibly. <laughs> but if you didn't, you're super Ooh. cool. Yeah. Um, Dark, dank venues with good sound and good French fries are really endearing to me. So Cobra Lounge is really a nice, a nice place for me to hear and perform music. Cool. Um, what makes a great venue, in your opinion? Definitely, like, good sound. Right. Um, definitely the atmosphere. Um, like, the, 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 like, the staff is usually, yeah. like, you know, a little talkative and, and uh, nice. That's always good. I like a more, like, cozy venue. Yeah. I, there's, like... What is it, the feng shui or whatever? Like the yeah, layout, sure. like that definitely does matter because there's been venues where I'm just like, man, this like just feels so weird to like look at, you know? But then there's somewhere I'm just like, oh, I feel at home. Yeah. You know? A good bathroom. Also, if they have good food. Yeah, good food is great. Good bathroom is a good bathroom. Is <laughs> very, yeah. very, very good. Love when it's covered with stickers and, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of crews are told like not to talk to bands, but I mean, I love talking to everyone. So, yeah. I think that's like the personalities are important. Absolutely. Um, so the approach from your last album to this one, was there any different approaches taken uh, with how you're putting together the music and even how you rolled it out? Um, I don't think, I think it was a pretty safe formula from like the past ones. Um, I feel like that after releasing the latest album, there's a little bit more experimental ideas, but I feel like for the future, it's just going to go more just because I feel like I've gotten a lot of ideas out from the past albums. So I feel like the last album especially like covered a lot that I have done. So as far as new material, um, yeah, look out for it. Absolutely. I mean, I went through your discography a few times, and I just felt that the whimsy was just going up with each one, and then the ideas were being you know, executed at just a better level because you're getting better as musicians. Thank you. Um, so you're about to get into one of your highest stream songs right now, uh, Dayflower. And uh, I can't wait, so let's get into it. Yeah, shout out to Nana for making that go viral. Shout out Thank to you. Nana for making that go viral. Stream yes. our music.
I just want to say I love that bass line and the breakdowns in that last song, Heavy Rain. So, so good. Uh, a very big thank you to Cathedral Bells for blessing us today. And as always, major love to everyone here at Audio Tree spreading the gospel of live music. Cathedral Bells are going to crush Cobra Lounge tonight and do a couple spot dates, but they'll be on a longer tour in late 2023. So when they end up in your city, do yourself a favor and grab tickets. Also, get into their full length everything at once because you love great music and we want you to thrive. Once again, likes are good, but subscribing to Audio Tree means you get these dope videos at the top of your feed whenever they drop. So please make sure to do that. Also, Get cool merch like this shirt at audiotree.shop. And if you want the session audio, get it on Apple, Tidal, or wherever you stream music. Finally, follow Audio Tree on social media for more fun content. My name is Psalm One, and I'm here for good music and good conversation. Till next time, stay dangerous. Peace. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?